Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now in today's video, I'm going to be looking at gaming on the Nvidia Shield TV. And in particular, this app, which has an extensive library of games. Now essentially, it's an emulator, which turns your Nvidia Shield TV into a fully fledged retro arcade machine. Now the great thing about this application is that it automatically combines emulators and games ROM downloads in the same package. Which means you don't have to configure anything complicated or download any ROMs separately and then mess about transferring them to folders. You just run it and play. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get it set up and running. So without further ado, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Okay, so let's take a quick look around and see what we get with this app. In the top right hand corner we can see we've got 9.2 gigabytes of space. This is because I've got the Nvidia Shield TV Pro with 16 gigabytes of hard disk. Now on this home screen you can see you've got various tiles. On the left side we've got ranking, latest and search. And these are self explanatory. And to the right of these we've got some game tiles, which I suppose are games they're showcasing. Clicking on the tile will take me to the games detail page. And to help us decide if we want to download and play this game, we've got some screenshots here. And yeah, if you like the look of it, you can just click on the download button and it will download to your Nvidia Shield. And I will download a couple of games further in the video. Yeah, so it looks like there's some pretty interesting games here. And like I said, if you like these from here, you can just click on them and download them. So that's your recommended page. Now if you scroll across, you'll come to the topics page. And I think this just covers trending topics. Now scrolling across from there, we come to my favorite section, the category section. We've got a PlayStation Portable category, an N64 category, and a Sega Dreamcast category. Across from that, we've got a MAME Arcade category, We've got Super Nintendo and a Mega Drive category below that. I'm going to go in the PlayStation Portable section. Some of these games have got some really good graphics. Okay, let's say we like the look of Street Fighter Alpha 3. To double check, we take a look at the screenshots. And yeah, this looks pretty cool. Now to play this game, all we need to do is click on the download button and wait for it to download. Now this shouldn't take more than a few minutes, depending on the speed of your internet. And you'll get a download percentage bar at the bottom of the icon there. Now I'm also going to add it to my favorites. Now while that's downloaded, I can go and browse for more games. And I like the look of racing. Let's take a look at Tokyo Highway. Now again, just to make sure I like this game, I'm going to take a look at the screenshots. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. And I can quickly come out again, and then I can go into the main screen and have a look at some action games. Now again, we just select the game we're interested in, and we can view the screenshots and download if we want. Now coming back to the main home screen, we can move across from categories to a fight section, which doesn't seem to have much in it. Across from there, we've got the manage section. And just like the name suggests, you can manage your games. Clicking on the check update button will check if your games need updating. Clicking on the download manager will let you view what you're downloading. And of course, I'm still downloading Street Fighter. You've got the option to uninstall a game from here. Now, if you do have external storage plugged in, you can view it here under storage device. And of course, you can view my favorites if you have been clicking on the heart icon next to the games. And if you haven't already downloaded it, you can download it from here. Just click on the details and you'll get the option to download. It's handy if you're just going through quickly and searching for games. You can favorite the ones you like and then later download them. Now another great feature is the search function. Just typing in the first few letters of a game will bring up a list. And just what I wanted, Super Mario's. And I'm just going to click on download and it's almost instantaneous because this is just a 41 kilobyte file size. Now the file may be small but the enjoyment is massive. Now to make gameplay more enjoyable, the first thing I'm going to do is pair a controller. And I'm going to pair my PlayStation 4 controller. Now the process will be similar on all Bluetooth controllers. So head on over to settings and scroll down to remotes and accessories and select it. And from here we just scroll down to add accessory. Now your Nvidia Shield will start searching for a Bluetooth controller. So now I'm going to grab hold of my PlayStation 4 controller and press on the PlayStation button and the share button together. And the light should start flashing on the PlayStation controller indicating it's ready for pairing. As you can see, it's shown up on the Nvidia Shield and it's requesting to confirm a Bluetooth pair. So just click on pair and that's it, you're done. You can now use your Bluetooth controller on your Nvidia Shield TV. Okay, so now I'm gonna head back into the emulation app and I'm gonna have a go at playing that Tekken 6 I downloaded earlier. Now it looks like it's completed downloading, so I'm just gonna click on it. Now before you press the launch button, make sure you got the wireless controller selected in the controller window. This will allow you to use your PS4 controller we connected earlier. Okay guys, I'm going to be quiet for a minute and let you watch the gameplay. Notice how cool the graphics look and the lack of stuttering in the gameplay. Now this is just the intro video, but look how clear and lifelike it is. And remember, this game is a good few years old. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Now into the gameplay. Round 1. 
Now the other game I downloaded was Street Fighter Alpha 3 so let's take a quick look. Now again we need to make sure we've got wireless controller selected. And again with this game we've got a nice little intro. Street Fighter Alpha 3! Okay, I'm just gonna let this play and give you a feeling of what it's like. Select your fighting style. <laughs> Nobody blinks. Go for bro. So as you can see guys, it's pretty flawless gameplay. Okay guys, so if you haven't already guessed what the name of the app is, it's called Happy Chick. And to get all this game functionality, we only need to download one file. And to download that file, we need an app called Downloader. So if we go into our Google Play Store and search for Downloader, you should see it there. Just download it. Now once you've opened up Downloader, just type in the following address. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash B I T stop l y forward slash 3 t capital k o j o capital p press enter and then just wait for it to download now download should take a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your network eventually you'll see the following screen now some people might be alarmed by some of these access rights but don't worry you can disable it in the nvidia shield settings so just click to install for the moment again this should take about a minute then just click on done now because we installed the file we can delete it so we've now installed happy chick now there's a few things we should do before we run the happy chick and the first one of these is to find it. Now because we side loaded the app you won't find it in the app section. We need to go into the settings and scroll down to apps and select it and then scroll down to see all apps. And if you scroll down to the bottom you should see happy chick. Now this seems like a bit of pain to get a happy chick but you can get some apps. Now I'll put all your side loaded apps into a folder on your desktop. Anyway we're here to change the permissions of the app. So scroll on down to the bottom and click on permissions. Now I'm going to disable microphone and telephone permissions. So guys, if you were worried about these permissions, you can now safely open up the app. To be honest, I've been using the app for a while and I haven't had any issues. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.